advertising department. Um, it starts with the ad rep um, going out to the client to get the ad. Um, they determine what day they want to run or dates, um, what size the ad is going to be, if it's black and white color, whatever. Based on the ads that are scheduled for that day, we we dummy the paper, and it's a it's a process of numbers. It's like how many ads versus editorial content determines how big the paper is. And then after pagination places the ad, this is what it looks like. You can actually see the ads. And then at that point, it goes to editorial. My name is Tammy Scardino. I'm the assignment editor here at the Idaho State Journal, among other things. I coordinate the stories that all of our freelancers, as well as our full-time staff, are working on each day. It's got LGBT is your big story. Let's also get Muslim Cemetery out there. Well, my suggestion is the top of A1 will be the outcome of tonight's city council meeting regarding the anti-discrimination ordinance. I'm Mike O'Donnell and I'm the assistant managing editor of the Idaho State Journal. We're back in the office now after attending about a two and a half hour meeting of the Pocatello City Council. The most important thing on the agenda was consideration and a vote on a proposed anti-discrimination ordinance. I have two tasks ahead of me right now. Of course, we have to get the story in for the print edition so we can get that out to readers tomorrow. I'm also going to try to get the first six paragraphs done as quickly as possible so we can post this online and have the, the heart of the story up for our online subscribers uh, within the next half hour. This will be our lead story on uh, the front page of the Idaho State Journal. I'm Mike Petrovsky. I'm the news editor here at the Idaho State Journal. What we do is we take the page dummies that advertising prepares and we uh, take the photos that we receive from photographers and the stories that we receive from the reporters and we put them on the page. After the stories are placed on the page, we write the headlines and write the captions and send those pages on to Bear River Publishing, to the presses there. We have to do this all by deadlines. Our deadlines are 11.45 during the week on Saturday and Friday night. Our deadlines are extended to midnight. Hi, my name's Dave Alexander. I'm a nighttime truck driver for the Idaho State Journal. I uh, go from Pocatello up to Bear River in Preston to uh, bring back the Pocatello newspapers. Well, I try to pull out of here by 9.30 at night. Uh, a lot of times it'll depend on what papers we're doing. Uh, sometimes I leave at 10 o'clock, get up to Bear River in Preston around uh, 11 o'clock set up and they usually start printing the newspapers between 12 and 12.30. I just stack all the newspapers and load them and bring them back. My name is Terry Hansen. I'm a graphics tech for Bear River Publishing and I watch for these pages to come in. Here's A1 of tomorrow's Idaho State Journal. I'm Eric Hansen. I work for Bear River Publishing. I'm the assistant packaging manager. We print the Idaho State Journal, the Herald Journal, uh, the Rexburg Standard Journal, the Utah Statesman. We print about 17,500 of the Idaho State Journal. We run about 20 hours a day, seven days a week. We run about 10 people in the mailroom, uh, five people in press and pre-press. The press can print about 40,000 papers an hour. Uh, our inserters go about 25,000 papers per hour. The Idaho State Journal takes us about an hour, hour and 10 minutes to fully insert it print it, insert it, and out the door. We get sent files over the internet in pre-press. From pre-press, they get made on aluminum plates, and then uh, they get the plates get put on the press. From there is when they print it. Uh, it comes through our stackers, and uh, it goes into the inserters and out to the paper boys. Once I leave Preston, it takes me approximately an hour and 10 minutes to get back here, which usually is around 3 o'clock. 
I uh, unload my truck, uh, distribute all the carts to the people that haul the bundles. Um, if necessary, I lay out all the dock pickups so that people come and pick up their bundles here. And I, I didn't have any I, idea that, that it takes as much manpower and people to get these papers out. You know, they, they're hardworking people, I'll tell you that. They, it's seven days a week, and uh, most of them don't get vacations or, or anything. So yeah, you have to appreciate what they do because uh, it's a hard life. You know, having to get up at three o'clock in the morning and come and get your papers and deliver them, and I appreciate them. The weather don't slow them down.